these are just some tips. Um, today I wanted to talk about the program uh, Karaoke ESL or Karaoke English. We treat, and I believe that there's plenty of evidence out there now to argue that spoken language, spoken English, is much more of a skill than an academic pursuit. Now I'll be talking about that more over time. It's not that important for you to know exactly all this research stuff and experiences with other teachers. It's what works for you. Um, the, the skill aspect of English. Many of you wish to improve your English quickly. You wish to advance and be something close to fluent. Fluency is actually means that you're actually thinking in the target language. That as you think, you're producing the English words. There's a lot more to that than what people think. And if it does not respond well to hard study, then how are you going to achieve this skill? I would like you to think about playing basketball or um, playing chess. Certainly you can learn a few rules and particularly with basketball, you can learn a few techniques of how you control the ball, how you dribble, how you would throw, or like in tennis, how you would hold your hand. And maybe like chess, learning a few concepts and strategies. You can learn a few of those pretty quickly. But the way a person learns a skill is over repetition over time. If I've been playing basketball since the age of three, and I'm now 20 years old, and I've played it every day, okay, and now you want to learn to play basketball, you can fairly quickly learn a couple of things, how to catch a ball, that's fairly standard. But to play with skill and to play comfortably and to play well, you would need to play and practice almost as much as me. So there's really no shortcuts to a lot of English as a skill. We have 50 songs. Um, if you follow the directions, you would be singing the songs a lot and then speaking the questions and answers a lot. I'm going to say easily a hundred times each. So that is um, 5,000 times. But just like playing basketball, if you're not even looking at the basket, if you're not being careful and concentrating and, and practicing well and shooting that ball carefully, if you're just throwing the ball at the basket, do you think you're playing basketball is going to get better or do you think you can acquire that skill faster? No. So it's the same thing with our method and um, learning English and working with the songs. If you focus and if you're careful about your practice, you will maximize that time that you're practicing and rehearsing. You can, you can sing the song 10,000 times, one song 10,000 times. You'll be able to sing that song perfectly, but you will not be much of any closer to your goal of spoken English. It's that thoughtful, purposeful, focused, and... Um, Ah, I'm short for words now, but when you play, play well and play hard. And with this fun thing that we're doing, it's serious fun. So enjoy it. That's the whole thing of this, that it's sustainable because it's something that's enjoyable. You still have to learn it as a new habit of singing with songs once a day. But once you get the habit, it's a fun habit. All right. That's enough for this one. We'll talk to you guys somewhere down the road. Bye-bye.